All right. Um, this is a short tutorial on how to program the PROM using the Xilinx cable. Um, what you want to do is you want to get into a directory uh, you, where you've installed Xilinx. So I'm going to be talking about uh, if you install it on the Linux operating system. Uh, so Xilinx will usually be installed under Xilinx slash version number, which is 12.4 in our case slash ISE underscore DS slash ISE slash bin slash lin64 if it's a 64-bit machine. So you want to get into that directory. If you can just zoom in on the directory name there. I don't know if that's visible, but it says slash opd slash dialing slash 12.4 slash ISE underscore DS slash ISE slash bin slash lin64. Um, to launch impact, we just say dot slash impact. This is the software that is used to program the PROM. A window pops up. You might get a, a, a window asking if uh, you want to save your project. You can say OK, no to the next one. You can cancel the next pop up. Basically, once you end up at this screen, what you want to do is go to the left hand side toolbar and click on boundary scan. Um, double click starts the boundary scan mode uh, and it says right click to add device or initialize JTAG chain which is exactly what you got to do. Uh, make sure that the device has been plugged in and that the status light on, on, on the cable is green which means that it's detected a Xilinx device. Uh, once you see the green light over there and it's plugged into your computer, you can go ahead and say right click, initialize chain. So what this should do is it should detect two devices. Um, if you can just zoom in there, one is called XC3S250E. That is your actual FPGA device. You're not you're not going to be doing anything to that. The next device that you see is called XCF08P, which is actually the prom. So the window that pops up and you would see there's a green shaded region on the FPGA device which is the XC3S 250E. Uh, it'll ask you if you want to install any .bit file but we are not installing any .bit file right now so we just click on bypass. The next window that pops up uh, is asking you if you want to install a file on your PROM which is what we want to do. So we navigate to the directory where we have saved the .mcs file, uh, which should be in your, uh, whichever directory you downloaded it from my email. And depending on which one you're using, in this case, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm actually using the blue board. So I'll select that particular mcs file, um, double click, say open. It'll, it should say identify succeeded. It should pop up a window. Um, you can just click OK on that and then what you want to do is right click on the device XCF08P uh, and then a, win, uh, a menu pops up where you, sh you see program, verify, erase, etc. Um, you want to click on program and you should see another pop up asking you about the options for the PROM. Uh, click on OK and then it should say executing command. It'll take a while to scan the device, validate it, erase it, and then uh, put it in serial mode and then write the the program file to it. So the executing command will go from 0 to 100% and when it finishes, you should say a program succeeded. Um, just wait for that. So as you can see, after it finished programming the PROM, it says program succeeded, and uh, that's about it. You can you can close it, and you can power off and power on the FPGA, or just hit our reset FPGA, and you should be good to go. And you can just close the form.